during our Farm Basics time today, we want to talk just a little bit about why humidity is so important for crops. It's often a joke for farmers to say, man, it's miserable outside for me with all this humidity, but man, my crop sure loves it. So humidity is one of those things that is a blessing and a curse. Okay, so if you walk out into any field, any time, those plants will be kicking out moisture and they'll be pulling in moisture. The reason why humidity is so important is because if humidity levels are really low, the plant will kick out moisture and it can't get the moisture back in. That's obviously problematic because moisture or water is incredibly important to all plants development. Well, when we look at humidity, I, I think about this, Brian, and a morning like this morning is a, a great example when you've got dew and you've got all this moisture out in fields. Oftentimes in the summer in a lot of the growing areas across the country, we don't get much for moisture. And if we've got humidity and we've got some dew in the mornings, oh, that's a wonderful thing to get our crop by. Well, it helps. It's not the total answer, obviously. We need rainfall fall because the rainfall keeps the soil wet and helps get more nutrients into the plant. But nevertheless, having at least some moisture out there with humidity can absolutely keep the plant alive and keep it doing fairly well. So just as an example, where we farm in South Dakota, if you go about 100 miles west of us in South Dakota, their humidity levels are quite often 10 or 20 points less. Even in years where they get the exact same rainfall as us, we always have higher yields. Why is that? Well, it's not just because our soil is better and it's certainly not because we're that much better farmers. It's just because we have higher humidity levels. One thing that was interesting in the summer of 2021 was very low humidity levels through the month of June across areas that weren't really used to dealing with those types of conditions. And we saw differences in herbicide performance where we were really dry. A lot of the herbicides being sprayed with fine droplets. Well, those droplets never quite made it to the crop. They never quite made it down on those weeds and the weed kill just wasn't very good. And here's the other problem. As a defense mechanism in plants, when humidity levels are low, what they do is they build up wax on their leaves. So we call it a waxy cuticle. Well, if you're trying to kill a weed that has a waxy leaf surface, you have to have different spray adjuvants. So like crop oil or methylated seed oil, for example, you use that to penetrate through all that wax and hopefully deliver the herbicide down into the plant. So I know we're getting into a lot of detail here, but the point is we as farmers want lots of humidity. It's not so terribly comfortable for human beings out there when you see 60, 70, 80% humidity, but boy, plants love it and we like it for getting better weed control in addition to having that higher yield. One of those weeds that you may be targeting is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? <laughs> 